how is it? Oh, go! Get to the chopper! Is that actually where Get to the Chopper comes from? Generic control in the deck goes Moo here, back with another kill count reaction. Today we're doing Predator, Predator 2, and Predators, which has a 20 year gap between the second and third movie. I have never seen any of these movies. If you're familiar with the channel, that shouldn't surprise you at all. I think I've reacted to uh, death battles that involve Predators, and I think I've also done Alien vs. Predators by a Nostalgia Critic, I want to say, a very, very long time ago, probably thousands of videos ago at this point. But as they were doing these three, it's going to be a very long video, probably close to an hour long, which is crazy to think about. It's going to be a very very long night for me but i do read our comments leave some down below you can check out my reaction to the last video which was unfriended kill count which that movie was targeted towards me because it came out around that age i was graduating high school and i remember like you know late nights on video calls with friends and whatnot like you know playing minecraft or just talking or whatever you can check out my reaction to that kill count i'll leave it right up there also link down below in the description also in place my channel with all my other kill counts going to chronological order if you want to binge watch do all of them but today we're doing predator predator 2 and predator is crazy that predator came out in 1987 three years later that predator 2 and then 2010 i think there's five movies in total based off the comments of the last video i do read every single comments leave some down below and also shout out to the patrons because i could not do this if it was not for them three dollars a month to get you all my reaction videos a day early and i could not do this if it was not for them but i hope you're subscribed we are just so close to 100,000 subscribers it's crazy to think about but let's go ahead and jump into the very first predator movie all right movie footage used in the kill count is so entirely skip by the, the intro rifle. and if you're new here makes no i haven't seen ownership and simply i haven't seen the, the predator movies i've done education commentary and death battles involving them you. please support and i think and the art of alien versus predator by predator the in its entirety using the links in the description below or maybe that's the other two predator movies like you have these three and then there's two other ones Welcome does the alien versus count, where we tally predator the count as all our predator favorite horror movies i'm james a janice and today we're looking at predator the action sci-fi horror film released in 1987 predator is a testosterone fueled adventure it's featuring a whole bunch of guns and raging biceps from the likes of Arnold Schwarzenegger, Carl Holy. Weathers, and Jesse the Body Ventura. But it wasn't Holy. just all the muscles and guns that led to the movie's box office success. The Predator creature, designed by Stan Winston and played by 7 foot 2 Kevin Peter Hall, was seven instantly foot iconic two. Wait, with Hall. Camouflage, Wait a minute. its shoulder cannon, <laughs> its blade gauntlet, and its pension for fishnetted attire. The fascination with Predator would go on to fuel a couple film sequels, a whole bunch of comic books and video games, and a well-known rivalry with the Xenomorphs from the Alien yep. series. But before Which we Predator did the kill was ever fighting Xenomorphs, one of them had to face down Arnold Schwarzenegger in the jungle. How many people died in that encounter? Probably a Let's lot. Let's get to the kill. Because it's going to be very similar to Alien, right? The movie begins it's gonna be with very a spaceship similar alien. that does a flyby crop dust kind near of. the Earth, dropping off a little predator package that hurls down through the atmosphere. Don't As we'll come to that. learn, it lands in the Central American jungle near where this helicopter is touching down Wait. to unload over half a ton of manliness. Is Last it actually off the Central America? Major Alan Dutch Schaefer, played by future governor of my fair state, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Dutch is there to meet with this guy, the Major rhyming. General Phillips, and his fellow bicep support system, Dylan, played by Carl Weathers. You son of a bitch. That After a little bit up. of mid-air arm wrestling, Dylan and Phillips tell Dutch that they need him and his men to go into the jungle on a mission. Dutch agrees, as long as it's not a murder mission. We are rescue team. They look young. They're assassins. Those sidelong glances between Dylan and Phillips are pretty suspicious, but they Why? assure Dutch the mission is only to rescue a government cabinet minister whose helicopter recently crashed on the wrong side of the border. And now, the okay. movie never specifies the countries involved here, but apparently the they're map. being briefed in Guatemala for a mission into the fictional country of Valverde, so the more you know. A pair of okay. helicopters glare some little Richard as Dutch's boys are introduced through a bunch of quirky character traits. For instance, Poncho, the team's demo man, loves a real fierce demo looking man. face paint, while tracker Billy prefers a much simpler shoe polish approach to camouflage. When they've done this While radio before. operator Hawkins, played by the normally writer-director Shane Black, likes to tell dirty jokes. The other day, I went up to my girlfriend. I said, you know, I'd like a little pussy. Oops. She said, me too. Mine's as big as a house. The last two team members what? are Mac, who enjoys shaving his already bare skin. On a helicopter? Blaine, played by Jesse Ventura. These two guys love each other and hate Dylan, who's accompanying the squad for the mission, but who they see as a pencil push and fed. The men get to their drop-off position and descend into the jungle, where they won't have any support until they get back out to a pickup point. It doesn't take them long to find the cabinet minister's crashed helicopter. Oh, okay, it didn't hit the ground. The inside, we get our first kill to add to the count. It's going to be a uh, predator. I don't know, what was the pilot? Let's 
let's say it was the pilot. We can call him Pilot Pete. Billy I'm follows sure. some tracks from the crash. Is he not in the credits or is he just pilot? The body, oh, upside where'd down their skin go? Alongside two of its Green berets? Friends. Yo, that's nasty. They make it in the jungle. After someone kicks this real life bird for real, like what I've met two Guy Green Berets recently. The Mary couple. To discover one of the bodies was Jim Hopper, a Green Beret that he knew personally. Shady shit. That was Dylan denies knowing crazy. why they would be out there. Yeah, okay, Dylan. Pissed about the treatment of fellow American servicemen, the boys break out their big gun, Old Painless, and set out to kill the gorillas that they assume did this, not knowing they're being watched from Go above by the real culprit, a thermal track and predator. Aren't they invisible? When they reach the gorilla base, Dutch shows some surprising grace for a man. Oh, not actual gorillas, just gorilla fighters. Nice little spying spot. Through his binoculars, okay. he witnesses our fifth kill of the movie, an American hostage who gets executed by a Soviet dude. And why is there a Russian in the jungles of Central America? I don't know. Cold War, motherfucker. That's uh, how they yeah, do. That's why. Dutch's friends have an Everything is. party and join him by the log, where he tells them it's time to move in. Also, I like how he's the only one not in green. Match. Maybe because it seems like they're facing their own base instead of out towards the jungle. But There's in any so case, many one gets his neck broken that. by Billy, another gets stabbed in the neck by Mac, and a third is killed without any flair by Blaine after he's tossed aside. Dutch moves oh, into the gorilla base, easy. unbelievably unseen by freaking anyone there, and Maybe they're not the best train. Inside the back of a truck. After he deadlifts the vehicle off of the log, he pushes it straight towards the gorilla base, kicking off my least favorite scene I've ever had to kill count. The rules I'm Nobody hears here that. are simple. I'll count anyone I see getting shot, or very much on fire, or doing very the stunt much actor air flip thing that 80s action movies relied on way too much. What's gonna happen? With those rules in place, the gorilla strike scene starts with a whopping 54 kills. 50? With the nine dudes blown up by Dutch's truck bomb. The rest of the casualties that got 54 people? Scene are killed by grenades thrown, grenades launched, Random oh, fires that's explosions, everything. And okay. of course, a whole bunch of guns. From the rifles that most of the team uses to the M134 minigun that Blaine mm. is walking around with, a weapon that's also, usually mounted on a yeah, helicopter. You don't really this carry case, that. It's just mounted onto Jesse Ventura's 6'4", 250 pound body frame. I've got Think it, about man, all the I bullets, really can't though. stand action scenes like this. They're very boring to me, partially because there's never a good sense of space. It's just close ups of dudes firing guns and close ups that's of dudes fair. getting shot. Just so many dudes getting shot. And explosions. Gotta have lots of explosions. How do they and know if there's any that they're all bad like guys? Said before, the air flip thing is used way too much and always looks the same, like a controlled fall onto a cushion just off screen. I also it hate does. the lack of stakes in scenes like this. You're never worried that anyone on Dutch's team is in real danger. All that being said, it's, the thing that yeah. makes Predator awesome is that it uses this. Also, last video I age restricted, even though I blurred it. Movie like Commando, right before it switches gears and becomes a monster stalking slasher. Even though it's supposed jungle. to be because kind of like that, a lesson okay for uh, this. and it's really that fake out that makes why this you movie should, so. Damn you know, brilliant. Plus, who doesn't like a good nice. Arnold one-liner? Stick around. Dutch uses another one-liner when he finds the Russian advisor dude. Knock, knock. And then proceeds to shoot oh. the shit out of him and another gorilla in the room who was helping the Soviet destroy classified papers. Six, then Dutch four. looks out the window Is and this sees another four dead bodies. Is this going We can go ahead and add to the list there. The last kill of this whole crazy sequence gives Blaine and Poncho a chance to get their one-liners in as well. Son of a bitch is dug in like an Alabama tick. You're bleeding, man. <laughs> I ain't got time to bleed. After Poncho mean? fires a trio of grenades, Grenades at a dug in gorilla. You got time to duck? And might I say, I absolutely love the shot of Poncho grinning like a jackal as dirt falls around them. Dutch he enjoys that. To the kill position. count himself when he foils an assassination attempt by a woman named Anna, who he knocks out for the time being. That's when Mac comes in to tell him that the hostage we saw get executed was CIA, like Dylan. So it turns oh. out this mission wasn't about a foreign cabinet minister. It was at the all. CIA the in the really jungle. sets off Dutch. Where they, should, where they shouldn't be. Yup, Dutch's old buddy Dylan just used them as assassins to stop a communist insurgency from taking over the country. A mission Jim Hopper was originally sent to do, but, uh, you know, yeah, obviously no skin. it didn't go so well for him. Yeah. So he cooked up a story and dropped the six of us in a meat grinder. They head yep. out towards a pickup point, with Dylan dragging Anna along, because she might have information. All the while, they're being observed by the Predator. Yeah, I completely forgot this is a Predator movie. ...to learn their <laughs> words and noises, like this hearty laugh from Billy after another one of Hawkins' vagina jokes. <laughs> oh. Didn't like that laugh. Their path to the pickup point for the chopper takes them through a deep, lush valley that leaves them soaked in sweat. That's what Hawkins says. I mean, it's probably human. deeper, Tracker Billy gets real spooked, but can't exactly say why. He stares at the trees and sees nothing, but correctly but there's... senses that something is out there. Anna takes advantage of the distraction to blindside Poncho and make a run for freedom. Okay, Hawkins well... manages to catch up and stop her, but as he's kindly asking her at gunpoint to stop making noise, the predator comes out of nowhere 
nowhere in its just... crazy camouflage and kills Oh, that's a slime, crazy effect. How did they do that? cloaked hand and drags it away through the jungle. Shortly after, Poncho and Dutch find what remains of Hawkins, and it's not a lot. Send him back home anyway. And it tells just them take Spanish that the jungle came alive and took Hawkins, which, like, dude, I believe. Yeah, there I would is too. No better place to get yourself killed than walking around in deep jungle. You ever see Planet Earth? That shit's crazy. Uh, there are snakes Planet everywhere, Earth. and oh, even no. worse, friggin' predators, which Blaine discovers firsthand when a plasma Mini blast guns. hits him in the back and blows a hole straight through him. <laughs> what does plasma? that make him now? Jesse Nobody Ventura? Mac runs to his best bro's side and sees the shimmering predator standing there, eyes all aglow. Okay, well, that's just a what, flex. One look at that, and I'm a fire my gun. Which Mac starts doing. Yes, he should. Yeah. To hit the I don't know if he walked closer to it. blood to leak out onto a leaf. Then there's what feels like ten minutes of everybody just lining up and firing their weapons at trees. Yep, just uh, a lot of gunfire. Yep, oh, what, just Dylan? a lot of the memo. Yep. Better catch up with all that gunfiring, Mister. And sure, launch a few nades while we're at it. Whatever keeps the party going. When the guys are all done, they've wrecked this rainforest like the humans in Fern Gully, but it doesn't look like uh -huh. they hit anything at all since there's nobody in sight except for Blaine's. His body's still there. Sorry, Mac Attack. Anna grabs Oops. some of Predator's blood for a glow in dark finger painting project she's been working on, and then they all booby trap the shit out of a defensive position with flares and claymores. Even with all it's that, it's gonna in be place, able to see Billy's that, right? Got the heebie-jeebies. There's something out there waiting for us. I did not expect no that man. voice. Elsewhere, that no man decloaks for the first time, giving us some close-ups on his see awesome freaking design as it heals the wound on its leg with tools from a little med kit. And we even get a full oh, nice. body shot how when to it use yells that. back in pain from its self-repairs. That night, Bill Duke gets a chance to stretch his acting muscles as he gives a sweaty soliloquy to the moon about how much he misses Blaine. Their traps get activated, but it turns out the thing that tripped their wires was and is currently an animal. getting stabbed like a psycho by Mac was it's... just a big jungle pig. Pumba, no! Oh, no! The next day, Anna reveals that she can speak English, and after Dutch cuts her free what? so she can help them not defeat this that. thing, she I tells guess... him about the blood she eh. found. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Top for That's another true. muscle montage, as everyone sets up even more booby traps for another defensive position. And a claymore. Was skeptical of the plan at first, but in no time at all, he's stripping down and joining the bicep boys <laughs> in the rigging of the jungle. Then it's time to just stay put and shave the sweat away. Oh, Mac, you missed a spot. Eventually, after Dutch steps out from their hiding place, a net trap is activated and pulls an invisible predator up into the tree. Oh, he's, warrior okay. Warrior Alien shoots free of the trap and sends a tree branch swinging down that hits Poncho right in the face. Invisible That's predator gonna hurt. Way through the trees with its wacky looking effect that effect sees, does he actually see it belief, oh he get can. a load of what it looks like without the cloak dildo i guess if Crazy, it's right if you're wondering how they still. did the camouflage technique it's actually pretty interesting first they filmed a dude in an all red suit since red is the opposite color of all the green that surrounds them and then yeah. they key out the red and filmed the same camera movement with a wider angle and the combined shots gave us this fun fact huh. john claude van damme was originally the guy in the suit until he realized his face wouldn't get seen and he quit kevin peter hall Wait, took really? over and he honestly seems like such a sweetheart my mom Hi, Mom. What are you doing here? Yeah, that's my mom. What are you doing? What are you, what are you doing here in the middle of Mexico? It's truly a what? shame that he died tragically young at the age of 35. Rest in peace, big guy. Mac runs off to chase the bro killing Why? alien, and what Dylan happened? follows that's after so sad. him so he can have a good character redemption moment. He's gonna have his hands full with old Big Mac though, since the guy is fucking losing it, singing Long Tall Sally to himself as he strips down and climbs a hill after the predator. I'm gonna have me some fun. Huh? I'm gonna have me some fun. Yeah, it's not enough bullets, my guy. You know what? I'm not sure, but I think Mac's gonna have him some fun. The fun mm -hmm. involves a plan with Dylan to flush out the predator and kill him. But I'll give you two guesses on whether or not this goes well. Hope you guess. Also, no, is it just when one Mac of them? Is trying to stealthily make his way towards the predator, he looks up to find a trio of red dots on. That's him. not good. You done fucked up, Mac. You know that, don't you? You know you done fucked up, don't you? If he didn't, he finds out shortly when his freaking head gets blown up. Yeah. Yep. Too bad when Dylan comes across Mac's body later. There's what? way too much head left intact yeah, for the way initial too much. effect we saw. Oh well. Dylan spins around after hearing Mac's voice because the predator is now replicating the sounds it's recorded. When he sees those glowing eyes, Dylan goes to well, shoot I like how it just a plasma does blast to blow off his friggin' arm. There's an his unforgettable arm? shot of the gun still oh, firing while the five. severed arm holds it before Predator does a runaround and kills Carl Weathers off. I guess that would be possible. Gauntlet, another great Predator weapon. As the others make their way through the jungle, Dutch tells Anna not to take any weapons, figuring that the Predator didn't kill her before because she was unarmed. No sport. As they oh, cross really? the log bridge, Billy stops and turns back, determined to face the Predator head on. So if you don't no have a gun, what? no shirt, and only the service of this big old hunting. Well, that's a weapon. But it turns out Predator's not interested in a drawn-out fight just yet, because the remaining Why survivors hear Billy scream behind them, giving him an unfortunate off-screen death. Though we will oh. see a body a bit later. But for now, we've got to add my boy Poncho to the list, because Predator appears in a tree next to them and fires a plasma shot straight into that's the side of Poncho's head, shot. putting him down for the count. Another plasma blast hits Dutch right in the rifle, and from the ground, he yells out his iconic catchphrase to Anna. What is... 
chopper! Yeah. Is that yeah, actually where Get to the get Chopper to the comes chopper. from? Dutch runs through oh. the jungle with the predator literally an... hot on his trail until he what slips is the and other slides one -liner down a little bank straight off a cliff, where Ooh. a weirdly blurry, zoomed in or something shot follows a likely stunt double as he falls oh, into yeah. the water below. But Dutch isn't done falling just yet. He floats down the river and over a frickin' waterfall. That's right. This dude just went over a waterfall without even a barrel to ride in. Awesome. Oh, uh, I've shore, been to Niagara Falls. I've seen the bank, barrels. I don't know how people did that. the river behind him, Dutch uh -oh. makes a real mess as he Are crawls to get footsteps? away. But it's a good thing he did, because after Predator's cloak short circuits from the water and he leaves oh, the wait, lake really? to look for his muscly foe, they send a, he's they send it to a plant when he's mostly right covered in water. Because that mud is not only exfoliating the shit out of Dutch's skin, it's also hiding his heat patterns from the Predator's thermal vision. So Predator just skips away angrily. Oh. You couldn't see me. Dutch quietly said to himself. We get our That's... third booby-trapping sequence of the movie as Dutch lays out his final plan of attack against the Predator that involves a bunch of spikes and a big old tree trunk rigged to fall. While That's he does a very that, Predator goes trunk. through his own pre-fight ritual by taking Billy's corpse and ripping out his frickin' spine and uh, Why? strangely small skull. Both of the warriors' respective skull duggeries take them well into the night, because this is a prime time match. Is it just a 1v1? One one. One. The lighting of a torch and a Tarzan yell, Dutch invites the Predator to come out and play. <laughs> Where did... And who could say no to that? Not Predator. But also, where did he learn how to so fight like this? So after using his lasers to, uh, what, I guess repair his smart wristband he's got there? That must be what Maybe. he's doing, because we see he's able to cloak again when he winds up crawling past the invisible-to-him Dutch headed towards a big bonfire. Dutch swings away from him and gets to tree-hugging in really true like Arnold me. fashion, then fires an arrow with a gunpowder tip right at a pack of explosives the Predator is near. That breaks Predator's gear again and sends him into a plasma-firing rage and that he's appears just to like, everything in this damn jungle but except Dutch. for Dutch. Kind of a big ass target for you to miss there. Actually, no, a guy named Dutch. I'll just chalk it up to you being on tilt since your shit got wrecked for the second time this day. Ballet trained Kevin Peter Hall lends a real nice physicality to Predator as he hops down a cliff. Isn't he also Dutch. seven Dutch feet tall? The alien hunter by hiding beneath a bridge and then by throwing another one of those explodey tipped spears at him. He tracks the injured Predator from his glow in the dark blood. Nice. Starting to seem like a real liability here, but Predator is still able to get the yeah. jump on him and fire a shot that sends him into another body of nasty. Predator jungle seems to be real Not smart. Nor is that thing likely to have leeches, it also rinses all of Dutch's money. And he'll be able to see. Yep. So Predator is able to find him and pin him up against a tree. Well, at least they can both see each other now. Of height difference between the two. But instead of killing him right there, Predator steps away to give Dutch a worthy fight since he's finally found another hunter he can respect. To show his respect, huh? he even decouples his mask and removes it from his head to show off the ugliest alien reveal you could imagine. Dear God, that yeah, thing that's is nasty. something. Wow, it's like a crab with a cleft palate. It's like a head um, crab. Okay, motherfucker. Dude, right? But uh, maybe it's don't like a head say crab that to his face. From Predator half -Life. spreads his arms in a warrior stance, and the match of the century begins, even though it's a bit of a slow one. Oh well, at least you get a blood spit fountain. After a solid bit of getting his ass kicked, I Dutch crawls away to his little Dutch ditch, where one of his traps is set. Oh. Come on, Dutch. Predator is smarter than all that. Even with Can your very you convincing performance of a dude who wants Predator to kill him. Kill me, I'm here! Kill me! Come on, kill me, I'm here! Come okay. on, what he, He's like, no, there's something Dad, wrong. Predator goes around and takes the long way to Dutch, only for us to see that that way is trapped too. Oh, Dutch that's smart. Dutch into action and sends that tree falling down into Predator, that's... mushing him against the jungle floor. But Predator ain't a dead He's probably fine, yet. yeah. And after Dutch sees him moving, he takes a rock to smash open his head at her. Before oh. he does, though, he has a simple question for the Pred Man. What the hell are you? Does it speak? Predator's only response for him is to reach over and fuck with his wristbound dude out, I wouldn't which appears maybe to do that. a sort of countdown. That can't be good. Predator confirms its malice intent when it creepily echoes Billy's laugh as Dutch runs away. Away. Oh, it just laughs. Oh, it knows what laughs are. Okay. It'll probably get away. That's not going to go well for you. The final kill of the movie comes accompanied by a bunch 76. of wacky special effects. I don't think it broke the record, runs away from the Predator's self-destruction, which results in a freaking mushroom cloud seen by the rescue chopper flying around Ooh. nearby. And by the way, Predators go on the count even though Xenomorphs didn't because, uh, uh I, I don't know, they're more humanoid? Just, maybe? Uh, yeah, they kind of are. Fine. The chopper they are. pilot is Kevin Peter Hall in an unmasked cameo, and he lands the bird to finally Wait, rescue so that's that's the guy that was the movie ends the predator? with both Anna and Dutch aboard the chopper flying away to safety. Kind of like the ending of Jurassic Park. Only that... Jurassic Park didn't have a freaking credit sequence featuring the cast acting like their characters from a goddamn network drama. Are you serious oh. with this shit? What the fuck? Does this, this have like too happy many music? Cooks? I don't really mind. It's kind of fun. Except for the fact that Arnold Schwarzenegger couldn't be bothered to do anything fun or even look into the camera like everyone else. Maybe Arnie thought was too many not... cooks would spoil the broth. But listen, <laughs> we're not here to make a stew even though we've got Carl Weathers, baby. We're here to tally up kills so let's get to the number do it now come on james 
Dude, it makes me so oh happy when people like reference James on of them were human males, other platforms. The last was our crab like, hey, predator. I know that. So at least we can spice up this blueberry pie with a little bit of extraterrestrial flair. With a runtime of 107 minutes, we wound up with a kill on hmm. average every 1.4 That's a lot. Well, I mean, I'll most of it happened all at once in one big scene. To Dylan. The arm getting blown off and continuing to fire the gun is a classic shot, and it's followed up with a nice his, use wait, of Predator Wait a minute. Blade. His finger There's wasn't on the trigger there. The Would kill, it bounce? Like, like any the, of the gorillas the... who were shot, because seriously, it's so boring to just see guys standing there and jerking around as squibs go off on their bodies. And that's it. Predator came out in 1987 and is often cited as one of the best action movies of all time. Yeah, I I completely forgot this part of the movie. Two, which nobody considers the best of anything, and which I'll be oh, covering next well, week. We're doing all. Then, I'm James we're doing the first story. It's been the kill count. Thanks a lot for watching this kill count. I want to thank sitting. a couple of patrons like Nicole Hansen and Stephen Campbell. Predator is definitely one of those movies where the more I watched and learned about it, the more I liked it. First time I watched what? it, I thought it was just a lame action movie. But no, man, the Predator is fucking awesome. No, it is Hold cool. Me on that, I fucking love the Predator. Who do I like more, Predator, Alien, fucking Predator? The Alien movies are better, but fucking Predators dope. Be good people. Something Movie about, you get, I guess it's just entirely by the how guys are. Dead meat guys see no this and think, yeah. And simply uses the yeah. footage for purposes of education, commentary, and criticism under fair use. Please support so this is the one that the of nobody thinks is the best at anything. I'm sure there's going to be a comment from somebody saying they like this below. one. I'm sure there's going to be at least one comment from somebody saying... That they like this. Welcome to the kill. Very few things in this world are unanimous. All our favorite horror movies. I'm James A. Janice, and today we're looking at Predator 2, the city-based sequel to Predator. That we went came from out a jungle to a city. Different Predator kind of jungle. Predator 2 has a few things in common with the original. For instance, it was written by the same pair of brothers, Jim and John Thomas. The music is by Alan Silvestri again. And although this film, City Hunter Predator, is a new individual, it's once again played by Kevin Peter Hall. But the differences from I the mean, there's not many seven-foot-two individuals. Namely, Arnold Schwarzenegger has been replaced with Danny Glover, and the lush foliage of the jungle with what? the ugly streets They're of Los Angeles. Arnold? In fact, a lot of this movie is ugly. From the clothes that I mean, are I've heard wearing of to its portrayal of civilization since everyone's packing heat and ready to get into a shootout at the drop of a hat. <laughs> Predator 2 is often mocked as an awful movie and you know what? That's fine. It is. But it's also batshit crazy enough to be a fun kind of awful. I mean, Bro, hell. What? It's got a voodoo gangster drug lord, Gary frickin' Busey, and ridiculous lines like this one. Which means you're cutting off my dick and shoving it up my ass. <laughs> what more what? evidence Who do wrote need? that? Also, so if anything's ever predator blurred, it's just copyright. We get to see a lot more of the Predator, who's a total badass all of the time. Again, thanks, Dan Winston. With a city full of people to murder, I'll bet the body count is high. <laughs> That's a Let's sentence. find out how high and get to the kills. The movie begins right. mm. in the jungle. Only we oh, wow. ain't talking That's Central America, different baby. Jungle. We talk in the concrete jungle of Los Angeles. Do people consider dystopia LA the jungle? Hey, that's the year I was born. These first Predator POV shots. The drug Can people call New York City the jungle? I know John Bellion has a song. That currently looks like a song. frickin' war zone. Zone, See? And to be fair, this was made during the powder keg period of LA that led to the Rodney King riot, so not too far off, honestly. The first I wasn't around I, the street. I know things dead, were crazy, though. Injured. But during the shootout between the LAPD and this Colombian gang named Scorpios, led by this those... long-haired fellow, El Scorpio, oh. we do get four kills to kick off the count with. All cops who always hide behind the engine block, by the way. Down dead, always. Or are wheeled away dead on a stretcher. This time, I'm not gonna count these stunt actor flip boys because they're in body armor and I think they'd be okay. A yeah, probably. The reporter, played by the sleazy Morton Downey Jr., says the Who? situation is not going well in the Mike? LAPD. They're outgunned. Outgunned. They're outmanned. Outmanned. They're even outnumbered and outplanned. Good thing here comes the I don't know about outplanned. LAPD Lieutenant Mike Harrigan, that is, played by Danny Glover. He enters the fray and runs up to join his partners, detectives Danny Archuleta and Leona Cantrell. They've been well, so trying to protect they, the they, motorcycle cops lying in the road. Do they have, like, That's future right, weapons? Man. Harrigan is happy to break through the Scorpio's defense line by hanging out of a police car okay, as no, he that's drives crazy. it up to the gang members. It's ridiculous, but I'm happy that, that is... gets to be more rigs than Murtaugh for once. The Scorpios sorry, are scared are those off just... by Harrigan's crazy antics, and as they retreat Body back inside the to their hideout, one of them is shot and killed by Leona. With that open shirt and gold chain, I'll just call him Mr. GTA, because that's what he looks like. As the yeah, surviving fair. Scorpios gear up that's with guns barret. and powder their noses, another oh. cop is added to the list when a bunch of gang members shoot him off of his Maybe that's why they're better at Harrigan planning. gets revenge for the nameless <laughs> don't, officer, don't do he routes the gang members, dug in like a bunch of California ticks, and opens fire on them, killing all four that Instead of Alabama. Don't get on me about how you see five bodies on the ground when he's done. That fifth one belongs to Mr. GTA from earlier. Oh, Harrigan's does. told by Danny that they have orders to stand by. Also, and wait what for are these guns? To arrive. But Harrigan's a cop in a 90s action movie, 
so you know he ain't about to be following orders. When they get inside, El Scorpio backs out of a room firing his guns at something and ends Akimbo. up turning his Uzis onto a random cop in the hallway, who is shot, killed, and added to the list. El Scorpio flees to the rooftop where he's being watched by the Predator. The Predator's just watching all this chaos. Follows him up there. But when a spooked out El Scorpio sees the cloaked Predator and goes to fire at him, Harrigan opens fire on El That's Scorpio understandable. and shoots Are those straight off the desert roof. Desert Eagles? I don't know for sure, but I'm assuming the stunt was actually done by El Scorpio's actor Henry Kinji, a veteran stunt performer. His oh, body that makes winds sense. Up down below on the set's wow. crafty table. Back inside, the detectives <laughs> find the rest of El Scorpio's gang dead in their hideout alongside a massive stockpile of weapons. How is he As unscared? They check out the crime scene and wonder what the hell did this. They see four bodies in reasonable positions and one hanging upside down from the ceiling. Oh, and is I he mean, naked too? That's normal. That sounds like the calling card of a predator. Waiting for Harrigan outside is Deputy Chief of Police Heineman, an old friend of his who's gone brass. Right. He yells at Harrigan for disobeying orders to stay outside since the situation was supposed to be handled by these feds who all bought the same generic federal agent costume. What were they going to do? USA. Or they're maybe they're in charge of the, the predator stuff. Played by Gary Busey, of course. Because they don't want Harrigan to come out that the there's station. aliens. He explains why he's there. We're attempting to prevent King Willie's voodoo gangs from taking over and controlling the entire West Coast. Oh, okay. To stop a voodoo gang from taking over an entire coast of the U.S. Got it. In Harrigan's office, well. Danny points out the newly transferred officer in their unit. Detective Jerry Lambert, played by Kill Count veteran Bill Paxton, doing his whole Bill Wait, Paxton shtick dialed up to 11. His goofball Wait, what is he, what else grab he by Leona in? after he doesn't leave her alone. Harrigan mm. is skeptical of Jerry's talents too, suspecting him of just being a showbow. But I or guess he's the unit's a unit. Sent by the government. To the war. Cut to the LA skyline and a couple of push-ins on a graphic sex scene I'm, through the window. It gets what interrupted in by the... some Jamaican gang members who storm in and start the scene with three kills after they assassinate Why? the security guards who are Gold outside tooth? of his bedroom. The Jamaicans are led by this dude Goldtooth and are here for Colombian gang member Ramon Vega, who they hang upside down from the ceiling, naked, while they hold his lover hostage, also naked. After prepping his dead meat with some Ew. barbecue sauce and saying a line that the predator must have overheard, Shit. Goldtooth stabs right into Vega's chest. Apparently, oh. he also rips out his heart, although we don't really see that done too explicitly. Why? That's because into the scene steps Predator, who opens fire on the Jamaican gang and, and kills plasma. a whole lot of them using a variety of Predator tricks. After the initial shoulder cannon blast, he uses a new net gun to pin a dude oh, against a wall. Have we seen that, that before? He ends up getting shot by his own buddies. He sends a spear Why? projectile Does... straight through the hat and head of another dude. Oh, and that uses was a nice his hat. Blade gauntlet to stab a fourth guy with a reverse facing Dylan maneuver. The last Lackey is killed by another one of Predator's new weapons, they his not telescoping see the spear. spear. After all of his henchmen are dead, Goldtooth steps out to face the now visible Predator on his own, only to get yeah, killed. Yeah, no, that would, in POV that's shot a good that reason actually has a nice little joke in it when you notice that Predator's thermal vision doesn't quite register Goldtooth's uh, Goldtooth. Nice. Harrigan gets to the crime scene, okay. only to be told yet that's again that hilarious. their orders are to stay out of it. Yet again, Harrigan's a rogue cop who doesn't play by the rules. That's they a big go flashlight. Up to the house where they enter to find the bodies hung up and skinned in classic Predator style. They even replicate that close-up jump scare yeah. from the corpse of Jim Hopper in the original. They also find Vega's paramour, who the Predator left alive since this chick wasn't even armed with any clothes. Harrigan surmises wow. that a new third gang even, is responsible like, for both this scene and anything. the Scorpio massacre downtown, but as they're looking at clues in the form of the spear tip weapon lodged in a vent way up high, the feds mm. walk in with a whole bunch of behind. bright lights and take over the scene. Keys tells Harrigan that if he gets in his way again, he'll make him disappear, which you don't oh. want to hear coming from a federal agent. Later no, that you night, don't. Danny returns to the crime scene on his own to check out that spear tip they saw. I'm still not sure how that got up there. We saw the deaths take place, and the one with the spear tip yeah, was how... not traveling in an upward trajectory. But who am I to question this space alien hunter movie? In any case, I mean, after he retrieves it, who would show up? Nobody else spotted Apex that? Himself. How did they spot that? David Nobody looks up. Voice he heard earlier. Danny boy. The predator catches Danny as he falls and then pulls him up out of the uh, ceiling well, and the movie itself by killing him off screen. Of the Danny's movie. Uh, friendship bracelet or whatever falls to the ground and gets blood drizzled on it from a mm. ketchup bottle by the looks of it. Upset over Danny's death, Harrigan assaults Keys for information oh, because he threatened and is told him. that this whole thing is way above his pay grade. The concept it is. of what you're dealing with is way over your head. Next, he seeks out this lady, Dr. Richards, for help identifying the weapon that Danny was trying to she retrieve. She has no idea what it is. she examines it, using the mother superior of all computer technology, she discovers something shocking. What? It doesn't correspond to anything on the periodic table. That's, oh, cool! Uh, I mean, that's pretty unlikely, if you know, like, science, but whatever, I mean, man, it's science there's, fiction. There's other... 
hurt kind of things like, how is like bound to that aren't on Earth gang members who pull or up haven't been top come from other smoke planets. Machine inside. You want some ganja, Mike? Yo, if you ain't gonna hit it, Mike, I bet Predator would take a toe. Dude, that's zebra right top. The caddy takes Harrigan to an alley where he meets with the leader of the Jamaican gang, King Willie, to find out some information on who killed all the gang members and his Danny boy. Why King Willie's a voodoo man and tells Harrigan that whatever's afflicting them is from the other side. And I'd take his word for of it, Mike. He's got the a world? Jafar universe? Staff. That's really all the info Harrigan gets before Willie tells him to go on and get. And after he leaves, Willie gets a visit from the Predator, who oh. comes down and stomps through an alley puddle in a pretty cool shot, which is followed That's by another ominous. cool shot that shows Predator in the reflection doing jazz hands. After one cloaked S warrior pose and some chants from is King Willie, yell? we cut to the gang Why is decapitated King head Willy by himself? Of terror. The king is dead. Oh. Long live King Predator. Predator takes that skull and cleans it off real nice, then adds it to some sort of decorative stand. Ooh. Why? Harrigan goes to a cemetery and visits Dude, Danny's gravestone to grieve, while a kid runs around playing a classic game of Scorpios and Jamaicans. He runs into Predator, who That's... analyzes his face That's and an then Uzi, his weapon I'm pretty sure. determines him to not be a threat. So the kid tries to make friends with him. Want some candy? Oh god, oh. please don't tell me Predator's about to learn that phrase. Oh, that would be bad. Come on, don't you think that's a little creepy? Want some candy? Never mind, it's very creepy. It's Maybe very. don't make your character named Predator run around asking people if they want candy. And Harrigan a children's calls voice. Team to talk cop no boy, no. Dr. Richards tells him that Danny's body had traces of a slaughterhouse on it. So Harrigan tells Leona and Jerry to take what, a subway to meet what, him in order to avoid being traced Predator by was there. You don't want Gary Busey following you, you know? On the subway, no, I, Jerry and I don't Leona know. see a bunch I'm not of very familiar with harassing Gary Busey. some women and trying to mug a guy who's just sitting there, probably trying to do some crosswords. Dude pulls a gun out on them, then oh. one of the gang members pulls a gun, and then, like, everyone on the subway pulls a, a gun. Everyone. The cops join in, too, everyone. Is this what California was like? Is this why the predator is, is this why things changed? Above, busting through into the car and knocking out all the lights. This was another particularly annoying scene to kill count, but my painstaking Because the flashy lights in the dark. of nine. First is this game. Everybody has guns. Slashed by Pretty Boy and thrown into Leona. Next is the gang member with a real Cuban flair to his attire, who also gets slashed by Predator. Another gang member is grabbed by the throat, lifted up, and presumably choked to death. A fourth is thrown through the subway window as it zooms along the tunnel, and the last is shown with a bloody throat. Four civilians join the count as well, uh, including the guy who was going to get mugged after he oh no. walks through No Man's Land, and three of those armed folks who are killed during Predator vision because by him they're just, all armed. Uh, grabbing them, I guess. As Leona leads all the other civilians to safer carts on the subway, Jerry tries to take the predator on Dude, by himself. Gunfire on a subway kind of wild. Grabbing a corpse's knife. He's rewarded with the creepiest last words you could ever Want hear. Some candy? Want some candy? That, oh, why Jerry is it like killed, that? Since we hear a scream oh, why is it like tunnel, that? Leona confirms the kill after the train stops and she sees his body hanging upside down from the ceiling of the subway car. You predator got time to do that? In front of her and Hello. grabs her by the throat. But when it's thermal vision, detects a little bun in the oven, she's oh. apparently spared since Harrigan finds her being rescued when he arrives. Maybe everyone who attacks Predator should pre game by strapping a bunch of babies to themselves. Harrigan heads down to the subway tunnel. I don't know. It might be able to tell. Predator ripping out Jerry's skull and spine. Look at how it like ran, a, ran away like that. I was like, oh, gotta get away. The predator in his car. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's a good look where's the door? I huh, gotcha. Of a building before his pursuit is cut off with a truck smash. It's the feds. And after they abduct him out of his car and take away his gun, they march him into the back of a trailer that has a high tech Death much. Star door. Too bad you got picked up before you saw the best shot of the movie, Harrigan. The Predator standing on top of a building with his spear and skull decoration, getting That's freaking zapped well. by lightning and just taking huh? it like a total G. God damn, Predator. You're so fucking cool, but dude. But the Keep explosions were able to mess up the costume, other ones? And for whatever reason, suit? just starts but blabbing lightning? all about the Predator to him, even mentioning the events of the first movie. Up. Oh, and look, there's a cameo from Anna on one of those monitors, too. When Harrigan doesn't seem to understand, he spells it out for him. A fucking alien. Even though Harrigan is not reacting appropriately to that reality altering news, Keys continues and he doesn't seem surprised. set up a trap in a slaughterhouse that the predator keeps coming back to for food. Their plan is to capture the alien and learn from it. Keys heads inside the slaughterhouse. Learn from of course of they would who are also wearing Jiffy Pop foil that should make them invisible the Predator's infrared vision. Harrigan stays back to watch them on monitors inside the trailer, and I'm sure he'll follow orders this time and just stay out of it. Predator no. comes inside the warehouse and isn't fooled for a second by the shady shit he senses. He quickly realizes that he can't see anyone else inside, so but he, he can switches hear them. his vision to a mode that lets him see the flashlight beams that Keys and his men oh. are using. Harrigan realizes that things are going tits up, so Could of they not run? Okay. his order. Do they really need flashlights in this? And a gun to a head, he heads out to go help the dudes inside. But you know they dead, dear viewers, so let's get also, him on the kill. he has a scope Predator on, I think it's a Desert Eagle. Three of dudes uh, does he even the aim down the sights, like ever? Tossing them off the walkway. Aw, oh, Predator, now you're gonna have to go get those when it's trophy time. 
time. For That's the last true. guy, he takes out his bomb-ass shoulder cannon and lines up the shot with his laser pointer, then kills Ion the dude with a single too. blast to the chest. Whose house? Pred's house. Now the only one left is Keys, but as Predator lines up a shot no. on him, yeah, yeah, it was Ion. And also behind him North because Terrigan has entered the arena. No. He's actually still gets a face full of plasma, or so it seems, because this doesn't kill him, as we'll see in the huh? And now we begin the Harrigan Predator cat and mouse fight that will literally we get take up the last 30 minutes of this movie. First, they shoot at each other between a bunch of meat and then run through the hanging uh, carcasses like they're an obstacle at DZ Discovery Zone. Harrigan eventually shoots and, Predator a bunch of times in the fish nets and gets him down on the ground. But nobody else is able to land any of these shots? To demask his foe. Really not sure you want to do that. Yeah, no. Nope. Do you regret gross. it? Eyes are going like to open? A deep sea fish got hit with an ugly rudder. Together, the two of them recite Arnie's famous line from the first movie. You are one. Ugly mother. <laughs> The real oh, you learned that, huh? Tosses Harrigan aside and is all ready to kill him when out jumps Key. Why is it? Who's back? Key's Why is it? Predator with fine, but all the bullets. Thing, but Predator gets out of range and takes out another cool new weapon, the Smart Disc. This thing may not have what a Facebook this? app on it, but it can cut through meat carcasses and Gary Busey like nothing. As it shows when Keys gets cut in half behind some meat. Oh. I'm not sure what happened to his upper body. I feel like it should have fallen to landed. the floor. Okay. But these movies don't have the best track record when it comes to consistent death effects. Harrigan yeah, where takes did the it go? to the roof where Predator Predator takes a huff from his mask and eventually gets tackled off the edge by Harrigan, who somehow manages to cling to the side How of the do building. How do you even says one of his new favorite phrases to Harrigan. Shit happens. Then shows how his entire fucking species consists is... of poor losers, since he beep boops on his wrist pad and activates a self-destruct re... sequence For... just like oh. the one in the original did. Before it can go off, though, Harrigan grabs the nearby smart disc and severs Predator's arm with it, sending nice. the alien down the side of the wall in a and really he's great going to stunt explode. where performer Dave Smith actually fell down a 13-story building for Wait, him. he oh, fell down 13 stories in filming? Predator grabs a pipe what? that comes undone and sends him across the alley into a random apartment bathroom. Using and a it's mixture going of, to explode, uh, right? Wall and, <laughs> I don't know, blue juice. He cooks up a salve that looks like a Heisenberg special and uses it to heal himself. Meanwhile, what? Harrigan okay, gets I guess they're trained. Down the building wall they are, like, the, the best at this. Pipes. The Predator busts out of the bathroom and runs out the front door of the apartment he was in. Wait, so you're trying to tell me when the subway was full of guns, when she has a broom. Shows up in pursuit. It's all right. I'm a cop. I don't think he gives a shit. Harrigan follows the predator to the elevator shaft, where he Her, grabs a cable and the, begins the to climb down. Line. But when the Not elevator cart starts there. up, Harrigan winds up falling down the shaft and through a hole into darkness, where he eventually Why? lands on a motherfucking alien spaceship. Wait, it's in the bottom of an elevator shaft? Parked under an apartment building and accessible by elevator shaft? This movie's fucking bonkers, y'all. Harrigan carries the smart disc into a big chamber, where he finds the predator's trophy oh. case, which is full of all sorts. Of skulls, including King Willie's, and oh my god, gold. it's a it's xenomorph skull! Fuck yeah, dude! Wait, and really? Also one they that looks like a dinosaur. Harrigan ends up or getting dragon. headed out of nowhere, but luckily the smart disc can cut through it. Then the big That's showdown convenient. finally takes place for real. And even though Predator manages to land a swipe on Harrigan, the last laugh goes to Danny Glover after he for... stabs the alien with the smart disc right in the belly, then repeats his own favorite taunt back to him. <laughs> with that, he rips uh -oh. it out of the Predator, who gives a blood-curdling scream that echoes around that... the spaceship halls and. And it's sub elevator. I don't, I don't understand the smart disc. Finally falls to the ground dead. You may think Harrigan is done, but as he goes to leave, a whole lot more predators show oh, up. Oh, there's him. friends. And we're talking lots of different predators here, all with their own unique mask designs. The lead pred's got gray dreads and is known as Grayback, and he's also played by Kevin Peter Hall. Also, They're totally all. random, but in my research, I found a video of all these predators dancing on set. Click in the corner to check that <laughs> shit out because it is just delightful. The other preds grab I the mean, might as well. and cloak themselves as they walk away. But Are they going to be? Like you, you're good to go. Shows that game recognized game and tosses a pistol to Harrigan. Take it. Was a that a pistol from 1715? That is one dope ass parting gift. Yeah, no, that's and awesome. Indication of just how long predators. Yeah, they've been, been there that long the and they haven't caused shaking, more issues. So Harrigan gets out of. Oh, are they leaving? Just in time to avoid the big fire blast behind him that sends him that flying through the air. Definitely would hurt. The movie ends with a bunch of cop cars pulling up to the ash-covered Harrigan, who has surely got to be feeling too old for this shit right about now. <laughs> Did this film City Hunter nab more kills than his jungle bomb from brethren from the original? 15. Let's find out and get to the numbers. Oh no, James. <sighs> Predator, you're so cool, man. Oh no. Well, that's the end of James.
There were 45 oh, he's deaths fine. in Predator okay. 2, so no, not even close to the original no. in terms of numbers. The victims consist of I don't, 43 I don't think human it was males, that. one human it's female civilian on the I don't subway, think it's bad. and of course, the City Hunter Predator. Yeah, son, get that tripod. Especially with, with them being like, hey, there's more minutes, of them. We wound up with a kill on average. I thought it was pretty dope. Four minutes. I'll give the Golden Chainsaw for cool. I don't think it's as good as the first one, but it's it, not it, entirely on screen. I would say it's bad. a nice edit with the scream for it. Plus, his yeah, skull winds up on a shrine alongside a xenomorph. That's more than any of What is the thing next to xenomorph? Dull machete for lame is killed. Both sides, Danny, actually. Who's pulled up onto the roof and killed off screen. I think the ketchup the bottle drizzle of fake blood at the end here looks really, really bad. And that's it. Yeah, Predator you think it'd be a lot more blood than that. absolutely insane movie. And although it did okay at the box office, it would be 20 full years before we got the third solo yeah. installment of the series. I'm talking about 2010's Predators, which I'll cover yeah, next week. Why, why was there a 20 year gap? This has been the kill count. Like, they did, it did okay. Today, I want to start thanking patrons who have been a patron of mine for over a year. Harley wow. Dennis, Cameron Steele, Jesse Huxtable, Allie Riley, to my patrons. and Daniel Copp. I've had some really patrons for like six action, years now. So, uh, why don't you leave a it's comment insane. telling me what your favorite Predator weapon is? He's got a lot At this of point, I wonder if they've seen favorite. thousands of my cool. videos. I, I they might have. The simple one, the fucking shoulder cannon dude with the laser eyes. Like, that's fucking cool. It's that thing right there. He's got LED lights. I don't know about LED. Good people. All right, Moving and now we have the, the 2010 now, one, entirely by the which is a 20-year no gap. So we're gonna see, and I like the quality of those commentary and criticism under fair use. You know, for like and the, art of the 80s, 90s, like in its entirety, using the links in the pretty good quality. Below. Like they're not, they don't look like cheaply done kind of stuff. Like some of the angles and stuff, but like welcome to the, the kill props, count, where we tally up the victims and all it our. Does it look super dated? I'm James A. Janice, and today we're looking at Predators, the third solo Predator film released in 2010. This third end in the solo series released after the two AVP movies gets back to basics similar to the first film oh, which oh, is an wait. ensemble cast shooting a bunch of guns off in the jungle the difference here is the is location this gonna be like leprechaun a origins after the group now they've got three alien predators or just looks totally All different of them look great and whose weaponry really benefit from the updated special effects in fact the movie as a whole looks wonderful there are some beautiful long shots in the jungle and a whole bunch of carefully composed group shots of the ensemble cast but unlike the cast of the original film the characters here are pretty much carved Cardboard stand-ins. Yeah, they're diverse on the surface, but there's nothing memorable about them. And even the wow. action hero one-liners are uninspired Bro and has a mini gun. This is hell. Last time I looked, you didn't need a parrot. Uh, Still, us Predator fans Danny, are just happy to see more Predators in action. How many members of the ensemble cast will survive the new hunt? Let's find out and get to the kills. He was... God, I forget what his name, the actor's name the is. The movie begins with a good boy who probably loves his mama, loves Jesus, and America too. It's Adrian Brody playing a dude who we find out at the end is named Royce, but I'll just start using his name now. He free falls through the air, I, his chute not opening until the last minute, and his oh, crash that's landing smash comes Ugh. hilariously into a title card. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'm on board already. He wakes up that's in the jungle a good cold and in no time at all gets a free falling friend who lands right behind him. It's an angry Danny Trejo. But before Trejo, he and that's Royce it. get into a shootout, a third body lands between them. Only this guy's chute didn't open, meaning he just landed in the premier mm. position on our kill count. Good job, oh, look at his arm. Any chances of an autopsy are put on hold from a minigun that sends Royce and Cuchillo, Danny Trejo's character, taking cover behind a log. This new painless is Which being is... fired by Russian commando Nikolai, and Royce puts the kibosh on his firing. Since when could she get a minigun? Also, also, that's an a12. Is Isabel, an That's IDF a fully auto shotgun. By Alice Braga. She mentions that she saw more parachutes yonder in the jungle. And as they set out How to find them, there? they're joined by another dude, Yakuza Enforcer Hanzo. Next, the group comes oh, across Hanzo. a pair of dudes fighting. Overwatch? There's Nasty Boy Stands, a death row inmate played by Walton Goggins, and Mombasa, a death squad soldier from Sierra Leone played by Oscar winner Mahershala Ali. They all finally finish their scavenger hunt of characters when they come across Edwin, a weenie doctor played by Topher Grace, who they find I stuck upside down in the jungle are. canopy. They shoot him down from the tree and we're ready Crazy to start good our shot. movie as soon as they can all figure out what exactly they're doing here. Can someone please just tell me Wait a minute. what the fuck is going on here? Wait, Everyone has the I've same seen story. him in other they stuff. They all woke up in free fall with no memory of any plane. The last thing a few of them remember is being in combat and then seeing a bright light. What if we are dead? Although that theory so did sounds the predator like, like standing of the lost finale, they don't shoot it down them right into away. An arena? This is hell. That's because this place seems pretty strange to them. Nobody recognizes the jungle around them. The sun hasn't moved at all since they've landed. And look what happens when they try to make a compass. It's riding spinners and it don't stop. They head out as huh? an alliance of circumstance, all extremely lethal people, save for Edwin. But he proves his <laughs> usefulness when he stops Nikolai from touching an 
extremely poisonous plant that would have caused total paralysis. Nikolai oh. thanks him and is all like, I love this doctor! He just knows and as if that. nature wasn't lethal enough on its own, there's also a whole bunch of jungle booby traps that the team of walks course. into. The traps scramble Whoa. them, but don't succeed in killing anyone, since the self proclaimed loner scary. boy sticks his neck out to save Isabel from a tiger pit. Looks like the traps were set by this unfortunate Johnny Knoxville looking for green beret. So find with a hole in his chest, and who Edwin estimates has been dead for about two weeks now. Two After Royce weeks? tells really? him to keep moving, we I thought it'd be more decomposing than that. 21st century predator vision. I like the update to it. It's more modern, but not jarringly you different. When they finally get out of the jungle and onto higher ground, they face a stunning revelation. They're not in any jungle on They're Earth. They're not on Earth, yeah. They ain't even on that planet, so oh, they on wow. an alien planet. Yeah, boy! We're gonna need a new planet. Although, real talk, I don't know well, if that many massive solar bodies could be that close together, what with gravity and all. But who cares? A shot yeah, is awesome. May, it would probably not, a great no. desktop wallpaper. This alien planet is home to I mean, my desktop wallpaper's Halo Reach and still. a classic Predator shoot -em up scene. The group blows the first time up, from up Halo Reach. to see that a whole bunch more it. are coming after them. And this gives everyone a chance to fire off their individual firearms in a solid action Ooh. sequence. In it, we get a great look at the practical puppets made by Greg Nicotero, a veteran effects artist most famous for his work on The Walking Dead. Yep, that's uh, a puppet attacking the gun-lacking stance, who was saved at the last minute by his former I guess nobody else. opponent, Mumbai. Do they have unlimited those ammo? Things are, those things are worse. These I guess they were in battle, so they down, were ready for it. That doesn't stop Royce from freaking decapitating one with a hunting knife. Eventually, they hear a whistle off in the distance, and the surviving hounds retreat, because they're such good boys. The hounds are enough evidence for Royce to figure out that they're being hunted. This planet is a game preserve. Where the game. Yep. Mombasa realizes that their group is short one craggly Mexican, and they find Cuchillo sitting in a small clearing with his Why? back to them, croaking out that he needs help. No, Royce no that's a predator. Survive, He's not alive. This is just a trap, so they all yep. decide to leave him there, although Isabel is at least willing to give him some mercy with her sniper rifle. Turns out you didn't even He's already dead. Izzy, my girl. We see from a frontal shot yep. that Cuchillo must have been dead all along. And never his face is all torn up, and you don't get that from a sniper shot. Turns out the cries for help weren't coming from Mr. Machete at all. They were coming from oh, a Mr. predator. Shady, that's what he was for. I know him from Royce's what, new plan is to kids? hunt the hunters by following the dog tracks, and it leads them to a place with a whole bunch of bodies and remains hung up. Here's what's up. I'll add three to the list because that's how many freshly skinned bodies I see hanging. But I don't want to count all these skulls and skeletons because, like, what? Do you want me to count all the headstones we see in any cemetery scenes? That, so I guess this is a new kill count rule. A dead body needs some flesh on it to count. And yes, I'm sure I've already broken that rule Which before, is a we'll do so I think again in the future. What? I just do these videos to make blue. jokes, y'all. I'm not an official dead body census taker. Besides, the way more interesting thing they find at the campsite is a freaking predator. It makes me real is sad it, okay? to see this OG looking pretty boy strung up on a stake like this, but the implications oh, are pretty lose? cool. In this movie, we're dealing with something so badass, it captures the predator type that we know and love from the first two Wait, movies. Wait, are they not the against the predator? It proves when it yells at all of them. Oh. All that hooting and hollering is sure to attract some attention, so it makes sense that Mombasa gets speared through the back out of nowhere and lifted off the ground. Oh, by Man, an invisible thing. Sundown, he didn't even get to enjoy any of this alien But is it truly invisible? Light. The others open fire, revealing the camouflage predators for the first time. And as they retreat back into the jungle, we get to see the updated laser sights and plasma cannons as the aliens fire after them. Also, Nikolai's minigun is taken out in the process. Oh, wow. Hopefully he still has a sandwich on him. The humans is all it... end up taking some Arnie tongues down Team a Team Fortress 2. Fed by a water I love bottle, that. Yes, echoes the original movie. That makes me I'll happy. tell you what's new to this one. This freaking recon bird that soars over them, getting their location and reporting back to its oh. owner, one of three new super predators. They've got no conscience, no empathy, and we can talk about why they ended up that way. But first, Royce huh? and Co will have to bring them to heal. The one with the bird is the falconer predator. The homeboy in charge of the hounds with the tusks is on his mask is the tracker predator, and the biggest, baddest mamma jamma of them all is, is the, the gold jawed, scary bastard named the berserker predator. Fuck yes, I love predators. The alien hunter, please not tell the me. Harvey Weinstein kind of fuckers. During a lakeside debrief, please tell me the, the berserker is like just experience. Royce somehow massive, out like that seven foot tall. It actually it looks on, bigger than all the other ones too. Some info to the group. Apparently, she's familiar looks like with the events tall. of the first film and says the creature they saw strung up on the totem matches the description given by the survivor of that incident. Later on, after the Predators fail to walk into a accused? trap set by Dun Royce, one of them Dun winds anything? up decloaking right behind him. Royce borrows Dutch's line from the original. What the fuck are you? But this time, the question is answered, because turns out that ain't no Predator at all. Oh, I'm alive. Yo. That's right. If you were worried there weren't enough characters in this movie, Predators has a crazy-ass Lawrence Fishburne as a U.S. airman named Noland. Nice. Run away. Live to fight another day. 
Nolan leads them across a ridge. I mean, I know him from the John Wick movies. A crashed alien spaceship. Although the ship is dead, the power still works, so he turns the lights on for everyone to get a good look at his squalor. Nolan says he survived for ten of the predators' hunting seasons and has ten? even killed a few preds himself. He gives the others. I mean, the that explains how he got the mask. Two different species, comparing them to dogs and wolves. The larger ones hunt the smaller ones. It's some kind of blood feud, I guess, been going. <laughs> so that explains why our OG Pred Man was getting hazed at the campsite back then. Yeah, because these are this kind of like shows that these threat. ones are even stronger. I, I told you they wouldn't see it. I told you. And when he mentions that the Predators have a working ship, Royce gets excited and wants to use it to escape. But How no are you gonna one fly just laughs that? at the idea, tells them all to hush up, then wraps himself up like a babushka lady for a nice little nap. While he does that, we get tidbits of character development. Nikolai talks about his children, Hanzo finally speaks when he finds an old katana that he likes, and Isabel oh. gets all thematic with the movie title. We are Predators. Just like them. But then they realize there's of. smoke filling the room and that Noland is gone. He's looking to suffocate them all to death so he can take their gear and keep surviving on his own. When oh. he sees him talking to his invisible friend again, we get a back and forth of some ridiculous campy lines. Say goodbye to your little friend. You in my house, motherfucker! Royce fires a shot that doesn't a do anything to get them out of there, but does attract the attention of the tracker predator. But they'll probably break into in, while won't they? Trying to escape. The predator uses his patent pending he's shoulder done 10 cannon seasons. to blow Nolan's body apart entirely, oh. just to hold the bloody bits everywhere. Oh. And then stands there in a pretty cool red. You know, somebody probably shot. makes a laser sight then apparently attachment for guns that, that is trapped, but conveniently three, disappears like when they go to leave the room. Seems like a forced plot contrivance, but whatever keeps the movie going, I guess. On their way out of the ship, Nikolai is shot in the back by the trapped mm. predator, and after he tries to crawl away, gets stabbed and lifted up by the tusky pred with his wrist blades. Before the tracker predator can finish the job, though, Nikolai curses him out in Russian and activates an explosion that incinerates the both of them and adds two. Oh, the he ever did. Okay, he give him the tracker's big one. Nikolai could have survived that. Stans is real excited that one of the predators is dead. He's straight standing Nikolai for the kill, but his celebration is cut short by a plasma shot to the back. That, the that'll predator hurt. Appears, but before Berserker. he can get to the others, Stans jumps on his back and starts stabbing him. The lead super Super Predator throws stands to the ground and the movie again surprising. borrows a line from the original. Come on. <laughs> But this oh, time, that's what the Predator Arnold acquiesces was saying. and just rips out Stan's spine and skull, well, killing he's alive? the game of Goggins and giving us yet another cool shot of Predator doing its victory roar. The surviving foursome are running away they through just the enjoy long this. when Hanzo decides to stop and do your standard noble warrior shtick, nodding for the others to continue on while he does an exact copy of Billy's stripping down to fight thing from the original. But, but he's the got katana. that kick-ass katana, katana on of him, of a and the knife. Falconer Predator appears, down to clown with its own bladed weapon. So the two embark on a pretty decent melee fight that we've never really seen I, I mean, a predator movie before. I don't know it how ends good with he one is final with the strike from Hanzo that slits the predator open at the waist and kills him. But as anyone who's seen a movie could guess by the way this is shot, Hanzo did not manage to escape unscathed. No, he did not. He too falls to the ground dead, adding another pair of warriors to the kill count. That's actually setting sick. up this movie's finale. Edwin starts the final act. So then it's just a berserker into predator. It not surprising. And by it, I mean a trap that really messes up his mobility. Royce yes, it does. that he's dead weight. And even after Edwin tries to pass off Nikolai's family as his own for some sympathy points, Royce Wait, they not know that? Oh. Leaves. Isabel is more compassionate and decides to help the weenie doctor limp through the jungle. In no time at all, they walk is into a trap and are strung up in a predi net. Royce gets that... back to that campsite because his latest is plan Royce? is to free the jungle hunter predator and get him to fly the alien ship off the planet. Is Seems he going to be on your mean, side? But somehow, the OG looking predster understands Royce's English, so our aquiline hero I mean, cuts him down to from the totem, it. sending him crashing to the ground hilariously. Apparently, predator never heard not to look a gift horse in the mouth because he gives Royce a once over by the the throat, but in the and end, he lets it go. He picks okay. up his mask They're from the ground now? and suits up. And it's a pretty great moment to see the OG Pred back in action. Even better, the fight's played by one. Derek Mears, who was Jason Voorhees in the Friday the 13th reboot, That's and who also just seems like a really nice guy. The Predator <laughs> yeah, and he's playing that character. shows Royce that he knows exactly where he wants to go. He starts That's the alien Earth? ship remotely from his wristband, right Is as the Berserker ship? Predator shows up with his haul of Isabel and the Doc. Oh, so he, he can either leave with that one, or he can What follows is something I never knew I needed. Maybe. All out Freddy fight! But the Predator, the, smaller the Berserker jungle one's hunter and the larger better. gold jawed Berserker boy go at it, getting down and dirty and including as many elemental hazards as they but can. But maybe the Berserker is kind of to the hurt spaceship a little bit. that the Jungle Hunter remote started, and which also apparently has an autopilot since that thing is taken off. The Berserker Wait, eventually just, gets the Royce Jungle Hunter leave? pinned down and goes to remove its mask, so we can see an even uglier Predator face. What do you than mean? The one we just started getting used to. How is it? Christ, it's like a wall oh, affected by the flood from Halo. Well, there's no yeah, use. Yeah, no, that's a good description, James. Like that. So Berserker 
berserker puts the jungle hunter out of its misery and swipes its head clean off, followed by a pretty yell, of course. The berserker runs out into a clearing, just in time to see a spaceship leaving without it's it. But good thing something. the dealership convinced him to get that remote detonation option. It's gonna come just back. He that ship to shitterines <gasps> before it's able to escape Was voice the on that? Down in the pity party pit, we get an absurd and senseless well, he didn't add to the kill count, Edwin so. tricks Isabel with a scalpel infected with that slow-acting poison he had pointed out earlier. He gives a real dumb bad guy monologue, distorted by Isabel's perspective, saying why he did it. She's back home. Is it murder? I'm a freak. Wait, here among the monsters? I'm normal. What the fuck? Wait, because he's he a murderer actually on had Earth, he wants to stay poison? on a planet where he'll definitely get killed by predators? This is honestly one of the weirdest and dumbest okay, plot that's twists I've weird. ever seen. Why? So good thing Roy showed is that up just to cut during... it short with the one-liner. Oh, you came back. I miss my ride. He gets him out of the Probably pit, good thing. and while Royce is tending to Isabel, Edwin tries to sneak up behind him and stab him. But Royce ain't going down like nope. that, and he turns the scalpel back around on Edwin, Have stabbing him in the throat with it. He then drags the bleeding weenie back into the Predator's <laughs> campsite, right before Berserker Predator reappears. The He's like, here you go, here's an Edwin offering. His heat vision, but when he turns the doctor's body over, an explosion goes off that kills him. Why did he find that many crawl, pineapple sends grenades? The super Predator flying onto his back. It doesn't kill him, though, robbing me of it's the chance to make lot. some kind of two for grace joke bastards. Roy steps out to confront the stunned predator, covered in mud, and yet again How taking do you know? lines from the original. I'm here, kill me. You are now, kill me. Guys, it's okay to come up with your own stuff. I mean, Try they don't sometime. necessarily Roy need to. Also, to that shirt is adorable, James. That narrowly avoids a blast from the plasma cannon, but the predator still gets him on the ground in prime kicking position. Also, That's if he was covered in mud to hide to with the fire behind wind, that's predator in the torso, he still allowing Royce to grab a nearby axe and wail on predator with unbridled rage. In fact, his hate for predator is like a truck, Berserker. And that Super Pred is out of luck, Berserker. Because Royce finishes off the that had to be a with reference. a decapitation, which plays out nice and slow like, giving us a good look at all that glow in the dark, lime so green. So now who runs also, that even though this planet? Is the second Pred decapitation in the movie, I've got no complaints. This shit is awesome. With their foe vanquished, Royce and Isabel finally introduce themselves to each other. And the next Hi. morning, they watch as a whole bunch of new parachutes descend into the jungle. Fresh Wait, game so for new predators to hunt. The are they the with predators now? line from Adrian Brody. Let's find a way off this fucking planet. With four times the predators huh? as the original, did we get No, you did not. Kills? You got Let's the least out of the all the numbers. movies. Beep boop beep boop. <laughs> That's just a green screen. That's just like a green costume. There were only 16 deaths in Predators, so no, it was actually less than a quarter of the kills from the original. I like Different how the, the jungle predators are smaller. Males, three skinned bodies of unknown gender, and four Predators, giving us a pretty unique pie chart right now. Yeah, haven't seen the runtime that, of 107 that, minutes, colors. that comes out to a kill on average every 6.69 minutes. Nice. nice. <laughs> I'll give the golden yes. chainsaw for kills killed to God, I love James. I know we've seen the spine and skull rip before, but never on a living person, and it's still so damn cool, yeah. I don't mind that it's nothing new. Doll machete for lame is really like, go to the stay first attached like that? fell from the sky and died when his parachute didn't open. He didn't and even have a chance to get way. predator. And that's it. Also, Predators by his camo. 2010 and has a sequel, The Predator, coming out on September 14th. So mark well, your calendars. Especially we'll get to that eventually. It's written and directed by Shane Black, who played Hawkins in the cool. first Predator, so you know it'll treat the series with love. As always, I can't Is cover he gonna that recover until the it's out on Blu-ray. Until then, I'm James like Agenese. They continue to do. The kill count. They're just going to repeat lines. Thanks for watching this week's Kill Count. I want to thank a couple of patrons like Brendan Darby, Madison Marie Hawks, Heather Briley, and Brady Cook. I know The Predator doesn't come out for a while, but its release date was originally in August. Plus, ah. I need the next 10 weeks free. You know why? Why? It's Halloween time. Tune in next ten week weeks when we finally for start Halloween? to Michael Myers' kills. And the kills of a random Halloween mask maker. Be good people. Wait. There's gonna be 10 weeks of Halloween? So, in other words, next week's probably gonna be Cujo, and then we're gonna get back into the, the two-per deal with the Halloween... Good. Look, of course, I've never seen any of the Halloween movies, so it's going to be a, a whole thing. And then you have the look scene, and the Sunny Family kill counts, and all of that, which I'm going to try and because I don't think it really matters episode by episode. So hopefully, I will have it. So if you're going through the playlist and you start one Halloween video, all the Halloween videos would be like in quick succession. So that you're kind of like I'm going in order pretty much but that's also just going to make it a lot better if you want to watch you all the stuff so next week will probably be uh Cujo which is another movie I've never seen I've my dad has talked about Cujo or whatever just like a dog that I think scared a lot of people actually kind of like the Jaws movie scared a lot of people from going to the beach for a long time 
so this was the predator franchise this recording is now over an hour long i don't think this video is over an hour long i don't think it's going to be over an hour long but longer video trying to get caught up on the kill counts uh it's going to take a long time i enjoy these so so much though uh it's going to take a long time to get this video edited and uploaded and stuff like that but i really hope you enjoyed it hopefully made day time better i do look forward to reading your comments because i read every single one of your comments leave them down below and i hope you're subscribed as we are so close to 100,000 subscribers it's insane also it should be live stream today at like 5 p.m but i hope you have a wonderful rest of the day bunch of next video take care and keep the music. We were playing an asshole.